live with Jen from BK. And yes, the new season of Power is Sunday. I am so excited to have this woman on the line with me right here. <laughs> Miss Layla Loren, a.k.a. Angela Valdez of Power. Hey, Layla. Hey, how are you? It's so great to be here. Yes, so listen, as you already know, I'm a big, big Power fan. I watch it religiously. And I'm sure you hear that a lot from all your fans out there. But, you know, I've, I've got to ask yeah, you. Yeah, our fans in particular, like, we don't have any, like, lukewarm fans. They're like, oh, you know, when I have nothing better to do. And it's like, no, they're, they're <laughs> fanatics. It's awesome. Exactly. I'm, I'm proof of that because I'm one of them. But I, I got to ask you, you've done so many TV shows, you know, in your career so far. And when you read for this character and the script, what made Angela different for you? Um, you know, it's interesting because, like, I think what made her different for me was she was written really, really strong. Mm -hmm. um, and I know people like to sort of bandy that word about, but there was also though, a lot of space in the way that she was written for this like really deep, deep longing and vulnerability. And I found like how great, because most of the time, the stronger the person that I meet on the outside, like the harder the shell, the more vulnerable and sort of fragile the interior. And I, I think right. like, I was like, oh, that's going to be a really fun thing to play and to work with. Um, because the truth is, is our strength as women is usually because we have to sort of protect ourselves. Talk that talk, girl. You that's know, right. from either our hearts getting crushed or that sort of that narrative that we have on the inside that nothing ever good is going to happen to me. So I have mm -hmm. to kind of pretend that I don't even want it. Mm -hmm. So when I read Angela, I, I sort of I read that. And then also... Um, you know, she's someone who can be manipulative and cunning and, you know, sort of like all the characters on Power have their shady side. Mm -hmm. And as an actor, like, that's so much fun to play <laughs> because sure you don't is. really get to play that in real life. So you're saying you're nothing like Angie like murdering people for pretend is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you know that Power was going to be such a, a phenomenon as it is now? Did you expect that? Because it is for sure, without a doubt, one of the best TV shows out there right now, I think, ever that's been on television. Did you ever think it would get to oh this my level? God, that is so amazing to hear. No, I know that some of our castmates are like, yeah, I knew. I can say that the, the best way I described it, can I describe doing the first season of Power, is like inviting your entire family, extended family, over and cooking Thanksgiving dinner for the first time when you've never cooked Thanksgiving dinner and just praying to God that it's going to turn out and you don't know. Because when you're in it, you're doing your, I could tell that everyone was doing their best, but like you just, you, you don't have perspective because mm -hmm. you're too close to it. And it gaining the momentum that it has has been such an like overwhelmingly wonderful surprise. And it's funny you say that, you know, the analogy about Thanksgiving dinner, not sure, not knowing, because, you know, when, when there's a lot of shows like a lot of shows like these have come out before, right? You know, it's crime, it's drama, you know, it's centered around some right. sort of... Yeah, it's so when I watched Power and I saw these episodes and I saw how well the storyline was and the script was and everything was just flowing, I was just completely speechless. I was shocked because I know at the same time when Power came out, Empire was also rising. Not to throw shade on Empire. Well, it's, a, it's almost like an entirely different genre. Completely like Empire is, is, you know, more slick, more soapy. Power is more yeah. gritty. It just... You know, both have their niche. It's just, but it's interesting. You know, it's it's the problem with all of us people of color. We kind of get r lumped into this sort of the same category, and mm -hmm. and we're not. And it's good. People finally are starting, I think, to differentiate between the two and being like, these are not. These are apples and oranges. Absolutely. And between you and I, obviously, I'm a bigger power fan. I don't even watch Empire anymore. But that's just well, good. You have and taste. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta ask because even during that time. You know, 50 Cent was even going in. But, I mean, how is it working with 50 on set and just with him in the whole process? Because he's a wild dude, but we love 50. He's, he's fantastic. Yeah. You know, like, you know, like his, uh, his uh, IG persona is, you know, he doesn't bring that to set. He's really warm and kind. And um, no matter who you are, uh, treats everyone with the same sort of open warmness and kindness. And when he shows up, he shows up to work. And he's delightful. Love it. Just like a boss man should be. I got to get in. Yeah. And I got to get in. There was just so much going on in the season finale before we get into the, the new season. Yeah, there's a lot. And for everybody out there who's listening, Angela didn't see the scene where Mike kills Greg. She didn't see that scene. The audience <laughs> knows more than she does. She thinks, she legitimately thinks that Ghost murdered him. So I think for Angela, it's like that ending is 
she's that type of character who will like who will do her job at the cost of her own heart. I mean, when you go back, it's like Angela never came looking for Jamie. She happened to walk accidentally into his club. He chased her down, hooked her, was like, you know, wooing her, giving her this necklace, and then it's like, oh, by the way, I'm married with kids, right? <laughs> and then she's like, you know, go be with your family. He is like, no, 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 you're the one I love. I can't let you go. And her boundaries cave. She is in love with this man, right? And so she's like, oh, shit. So he has this promise that he's going to clean up his family life, um, and it's really interesting that the onus gets put on the woman for the affair, when in reality, he was the one driving it. You know, he did I, a poor job of, like, not keeping her boundaries up, of saying, like, handle your shit first, then come knocking. She caved. Mm-hmm. But she didn't, she wasn't like, you know, she's not like those girls that troll the basketball players, like, houses. Like the thoughts. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, you know, she came and she went to return that expensive necklace saying, like, I don't want it. And then that's when he, you know, decided to... uh work his charms over her give her the goods um and then it's like and then she finds out you know he's this drug dealer and it's like no 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 but he's like promising i'm the guy that you really always believed in just let me get like let me change give me a chance to change Mm -hmm. and so he even she has a body count by the end of episode two where he's all beat up and all these people have been killed Mm -hmm. and he's basically like i can't he without saying it he's telling her like i had to do this in order to get out of the game and so she lets that slide because she loves him because she has the the promise of like who he's going to be still like in her heart and then he murders Lobos and she still doesn't do anything so when Greg gets killed it's her being like I have to stop this madness and I have to expose him to as many people for like kind of the 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 fake that he is Mm -hmm. it's uh, interesting when people are like how could Angela do ghosts like that it's like well that's how after all these years of holding you down and being ride or die and and dealing with all this Angela's like just I I had enough and I'm glad you mentioned that because I had I have a love hate relationship with Angela right because I I was as you should with all the characters sort of one of the wonderful brilliant things about what Courtney does is she put it she puts a hitch in everything Mm -hmm. so like on the surface, sure, like, Ghost and Tasha have a great relationship, but there's a hitch in it. There's a hitch in their character where Ghost is sort of more concerned with her outward appearance and sort of puts her down about her not being, like, classy enough. And then she likes the power trip of the attraction of uh, the younger chauffeur played by Saint Walls. Mm-hmm. So there's a hitch there. With Angela, the hitch is, yes, it's authentically, like, you know, her holding up this vision for who he is, but she also doesn't know who he is. Mm-hmm. And they're going about it in a kind of, you know, un, like not an appropriate way. He doesn't get a divorce and then starts courting her. He mashes it all together and she, she doesn't stick to her boundaries. And so like every, you can't, it's like she wants you to root for these characters and then she sours it a little. And that's mm-hmm. kind of brilliant. And between you and I, I think we should just blame ghosts for everything. I mean, why not? Well, it's, yeah. It's like, there it's you go. I mean, yes. I mean, this, here's the weird, the interesting thing to look at in the story. Everything that ghost touches, he eventually corrupts. I love it. I absolutely love this show. And Leela, before I let you go, I just want to ask you some five quick random questions. Oh, boy. Glass half full or glass half empty? I say fuck the glass, spill it on the floor. (laughs) Uh, Pizza or sushi? Pizza. If I were not an actress, I would be doing blank. I would be in uh, Africa studying primates. Ooh, is that something you were into growing up? That was what I initially thought I was going to do. What? And how did you get into acting then? How did that world merge? Or, I mean, how did you transition over that? Such a weird hook by crook, like, series of bizarre events that I don't even understand. <laughs> like, classes that got canceled and the registrar putting me in an acting class that I never signed up for and hating it, but it getting underneath my skin huh. and then just falling in love with it and then having to, like, be terrified that maybe I've ruined my life. <laughs> no. Well, it turned out for the best. I honestly You're thought okay. I was going to be a waitress my entire life. Uh, name two songs or artists that's playing on your playlist. London Grammar, and I've always got the roots. I love roots. the roots. I have, like, the song The Seed on repeat. Like, I oh, love that song. wow. I have to say, that. I remember listening to it forever before I bothered, like, like letting the lyrics sink in. I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 this song is hot. Who'd win in a fight, Tasha or Angela, if it ever happened? I know that's both classy women, but if it ever went down. If it ever really, really went down, I think, um, 
I think Angela's got more up her sleeve than people give her credit mm-hmm. for. She's, she's a hood girl. I, though, on the other hand, fight like a hamster. So let's not get confused <laughs> with Angela. Okay, and last one, because I know you got to go. Who has the real power? Tommy, Ghost, or Kanan? It's so weird because I think power is meant on this show ironically. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say right now, though, Kanan, because Ghost doesn't know that he's alive. Whenever you, you're, you're the, he's like the surprise at the end of the cereal box, at the bottom of the cereal box, that often awful, awful surprise. And so whenever you have that, you're the one who has the power. Is he going to be right. an X Factor in the season? Is he going to kind of change the tide a little bit? Kanan is going to be hell bent on ruining Ghost Life until that man is dead. And since he ain't dead, well, there's still more to, like story to tell in that area. Ah. If the end of season three left your jaw on the floor, the end of this season, I can safely say, like, you're going to, like, need to have, like, group therapy. Girl, like, all ah! the fans are going to need to get together <laughs> and fucking hold each other's hands and talk it out. This is an incredible and amazing season. I am so thrilled to be a part of it. And uh, so I'm like, really excited to also see, like, the new characters that are coming in to kind of infuse uh, our story and keep it going. There it you're is. Done. Leela Loren, thank you so much for calling up to my show. Make Thanks sure you for come having visit me. Us. It was awesome. Season four premiere of power make sure you tune in yeah don't miss it guys